to the Secretary of State for giving way. It's been interesting to hear colleagues who represent metropolitan areas talk about the hundreds of routes that they have available. I wonder if the Secretary of State might comment on the this meaning of this bill in rural areas where there are no routes. I very much welcome the flexibility it brings and I very much welcome the focus on community transport. But could he say how this bill might lead to a greater provision of bus services in rural areas? Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think that the essence, and in fact is the, 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 the point I was literally about to come on to in my speech, which is about partnership. I do think that in the public transport arena, partnership between state and private sector is really important. Uh, and the elements of this bill, I think, that, that offers that opportunity of partnership is the provisions for enhanced partnerships that take forward uh, the existing partnership arrangements. But what they do is create greater flexibility. And in a rural area where it's not always about building a bus lane, for example, um, but it's about other ways of improving services, this will give the local authority greater flexibility to work with a private operator uh, in a new enhanced partnership that delivers improvements without some of the straitjackets that existed in the previous uh, arrangements. And of course we will, Mr Speaker, continue to fund community transport, which plays a really important role in many parts of the country, particularly in rural areas. Uh, and my friend, the Minister who will be speaking later in this debate, plays a very active role in making sure that we do the right thing by community transport.